things first. Hmm. Rent. Electricity bill. Paid. Internet bill. Paid. Hmm. <sighs> Already my account balance looks like it's half of it. I so badly wanted to buy this fossil watch. Let me buy it right away. Oh my god, it is on a countdown deal. Hey, you want me to come out for dinner? Yes. Are no, yeah. I don't have balance in my salary. I want to save some money. Are please come no. Ah, uh, okay, chalo, I'll come out. Do you relate to all these videos and memes on month end problems? Because a lot of influencers make videos on how they are all rich during the first few days of the month and how they become poor by the month end. Funny, isn't it? It makes you think, oh, they are just like me, so relatable. Well, let me drop a truth bomb on you. They are just creating relatable content for people who are really bad at managing their own finances. And this is not something to be happy about. Saying that, this is so me. Oh, they just showed my life story. Hello everyone. My name is Saundarya Lakshmi Narayanan. And in today's video, we are going to tell you how to survive the month in crisis because we don't want you to be in that situation anymore. Coming straight to the topic, let's get started. Pick a pen and paper because the points in this video will help you for a long term in your life. Tip 1. Know your income and keep track of all your earnings. Tip number 2. Make a monthly budget and divide your expenses into two categories. Needs and wants. Needs, these will be your expenses that you cannot avoid. Like your rent, electricity bill, groceries and other essential items. Wants, these are the expenses that are not important and you may not necessarily spend on them every month like shopping, eating out, etc. Tip number three, always have more than one savings account. Keep one account where you keep your petty cash and other account to save your money. Tip number four, there are specific rules on how much you spend every month. For example, your rent should not exceed 10 to 15% of your income. I mean, your essentials should not come as a burden to you, right? Electricity and food expenditure is also subjective. Tip number 5. You should plan your expenses in a way that you save about 25-30% to 30 of your income in the emergency fund. We have explained about emergency fund in our previous videos, so please go and watch them if you are not familiar with the term. The link is given in the description or you can click the i button above. Tip number 6. Make sure you pay all your bills and EMIs in just 3 to 4 days after your salary gets credited. Tip number 7. Be sure to your pockets whenever buying anything and avoid buying stuff that you don't need or you cannot afford. This is very important. Tip number 8. Even if you have to buy something which is going out of your budget, make sure you pay 20-25% to beforehand as a down payment and the rest by EMI. Now your EMI shall not exceed 10% of your monthly income. Tip number 9. Never miss on paying your bills and EMIs on the due date as you may end up paying some extra fees in terms of fines or penalties. Tip number 10. Learn to invest your saved money as this is the only way you can beat inflation and have a secured future. That's a lot of things to work on, isn't it? I hope you have taken down a note of it. But don't worry, we won't leave you just hanging there simply by giving tips. Although, making a monthly budget and keeping a close eye on your expenditures must be done by you, but we will gladly walk you through your investing journey. Alice Blue is an award-winning stockbroking firm that aims to make everybody financially independent and financially literate with its Aspiring Investors program. You cannot only learn just the basics of investing, but you can also be investment ready on your own. Register yourself for the program by clicking on the link in the description and start your investment journey with us. You can come back and thank me later. This was all in today's video. Next time, I'll see you in another exciting topic. Until then, do subscribe to the channel and comment below if you find this information helpful. And share this video with all the trader and investors friends you have. See you all in another video later.
Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.